Hi everyone, it's Al. Um, had a few queries on uh, boiler uh, lockout or overheat. Um, it's where your, your boiler keeps cutting out and uh, you've got to keep going, resetting it again, and then you might find that he runs for a little while uh, and then it goes off again. And generally, it's a situation that usually gets worse and worse. It starts off very slowly uh, with the odd overheat switching off uh, and gradually gets worse and worse uh, until in the end you find you're pushing the damn button on the reset on the boiler. Uh, every five minutes so what does it mean and what can we do about it well let, let me show you the, the general reset button first on the boiler well here's mine um, on this particular boiler um, it's called lockout um, and you can hear it clicking away there now trying to lie uh, and sometimes you know it just won't come on even though it's clicked away and gone um, now on this occasion it's lit um, but you can see the little red light there um, and if that comes on the boiler clicks straight out um, it's kind of like a safety valve really for the boiler um, it clicks out if it gets too hot and uh, makes the thing safe so what can we do about it well generally it means that uh, you've got a blockage somewhere um, people dive for the central heating pump a lot of times thinking that that could be burnt out um, but most times uh, the pump is all right and uh, you'll find you've got a blockage of sludge somewhere. So what I suggest is um, to drain the system down, uh, your central heating down, and put something like this on I've got on the screen at the moment. Uh, I really rate this one. This is uh, made by Sentinel and it's the X400. Uh, and it's a system restorer, basically. Um, you know, just apply it in after you've drained out. Uh, and it's the removal of sludge and deposits of iron oxide. And it's broken down and dispersed throughout the system and then flushed out again. And um, you know, I can't go on more about this kind of gear. This is what you do need if your system has never been done. Um, there's lots of other products after that. I might bring them up here. Uh, I mean, these are the Sentinel ones, uh, but there is another cleaner here. Um, this is a different one again. Uh, this one's made by Fernox, very good indeed. Uh, this one is a cleaner again, um, and it's, it's really good. Uh, suitable for hall heating systems and metals. Uh, and it can be used with a power flush machine if you had one then, but uh, you wouldn't have one of those, not at home. <laughs> okay, uh, and they're, they're around about 18, 20 pound, these cleaners, um, but they're very good. Then after that, of course, you can drop back and put your, um, your inhibitor in. Uh, and then that should keep it clean um, and, and keep it up to scratch. And so I like the XL300, very good. Um, heavy duty cleaning action there, um, very good on that one. And you know, again, it, it prevents the, the build up of deposit in the system. After that, you can put um, your inhibitor in, and um, it, you should find if it doesn't clear it straight away, over time, it should clear the blockage away for you. Um, and also eliminates those horrible, annoying, banging noises that you get in your boiler, you know, the sort of thing I mean. <laughs> um, if you've got that, that is a definite sign that you've got a blockage in your system. All right, so it's just a little quick one from me. Uh, that's it, really. All my videos, you know where to go. Derek and 33. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.